my name is Zach Coco with Minerick Drives, and today we'll be going over the other options of the RG60U that we didn't cover in the basic tutorial. The first option we're going to cover is TAC Feedback. After you've attached the TAC Feedback device to the motor, you would run the leads over to T1 and T2, which are located on pins 9 and 10 of the terminal block. Then you would have to make sure to switch the drive, the switch on the drive, over to Armature Feedback, switch it to TAC Feedback. Next, we'll go over the different inhibit settings and enable settings. Factory default states that when the two inhibit terminals located here are closed, the drive will activate inhibit. This is the same with enable. To invert these settings, simply jumper the two leads located here in the middle of the drive. The first two leads are for inhibit. This activates invert inhibit, where when these two terminals are open, the drive will activate inhibit. This is the same for enable, but with the second two leads. This will activate enable when these two terminal blocks are open. This drive also offers the option to have a plus 15 voltage signal and a negative 15 voltage signal using pins 5 and 6 of the terminal block. The last option we'll be going over is the run brake. To use the run brake option, simply put a switch in terminal 7. Terminal 8. Now we'll check to make sure the run stop switch is working properly. We'll add some speed to the motor, activate the switch. Everything seems to be working properly. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any other questions, please visit us at www.minericdrives.com or call one of our application engineers at 815. 624-6950.